regular season is behind us and the playoffs are upon us. Before I get into that, I quickly want to recap the bottom of the league. We'll start with Dave Gunn of Clear Diamonds, who finished his first season in last place with a 3-10 record. A little disappointing since he started the year 2-1, but a 7-game losing streak and being the bottom scorer in the league is always a recipe for disaster. Also finishing with a 3-10 record is the former commish Double Beans No Rice. His season had a little more bad luck as he had the most points scored against him in the league, which will usually lead to a few tough luck losses, which was the case here. The former back-to-back -back champ Skid will end his season with a 4-9 record. It seemed like he had a shot at maybe getting a playoff spot after winning 2-3 of three earlier in the season, but a three-game losing streak coupled by poor team management was his ultimate demise. Emily and the Lucky Horses finishes 5-8 and, and really fell off the map after starting the season so strong. After, getting, after starting the season as the highest scoring team, she finishes her last three games as the worst score and the most points scored against her. The Bad Moons and Turd Ferguson finishes 6-7, which would have been enough for a sixth place spot, but a couple of low scoring weeks kept them out of contention. Okay, so let's preview some playoffs. First off, congratulations to the Black Teeth Gold Crowns. With one of the best teams top to bottom, you are deserving of a first place spot and a $50 prize. The Danger Boys will settle for second place spot, but gets a $30 prize as well. Nice work, man. Both teams will secure a first round bye as they await the results of the next two matchups. Fifth place, youcaren.com will take on Carrie's one time at Bandcamp. A quick shout out to Carrie as she was out of playoff contention only four weeks ago, but finishes red hot winning her final four games and securing a fourth place spot. Ucaren.com is currently a nine point favorite with two top 10 receivers in Keenan Allen and DeAndre Hopkins. But Carrie definitely has the better play at quarterback with the ever so dangerous Russell Wilson. And let's not forget about her wild card, Robbie Anderson, who has scored more points in the last four weeks than he has all season long. The third place, Mario Luigi's, will make his ninth fantasy playoff appearance, taking on the sixth place, Brenover Backwards, who, despite losing her last two games, still finishes in sixth due to some high scoring games earlier in the season. And it's hard to argue why when you have weapons like Tom Brady and the rejuvenated Alshon Jeffrey at your disposal. Even though the Mario Luigi's probably has the more well rounded lineup overall, it could be a lot tougher this week without his top tight end, Rob Gronkowski, out due to a one-game suspension. It could be all Jennifer needs to secure the victory and move on to face Lucas and the Gold Crowns. With that said, congratulations to the top six teams. Good luck this week to all, and may the best Mario and Luigi win. <laughs> 